An air mass is a large body of air that has similar temperature and moisture levels. Different types of air masses are categorized by their temperature and moisture levels. For instance, tropical and polar air masses are categorized according to temperature. Tropical air masses are typically warm, and polar air masses are typically cold. The two types of air masses that are categorized by moisture level can be described as continental or maritime. Continental air masses are typically dry and form over land, whereas maritime air masses have more moisture and usually form over water sources. Air masses circulate and move in the atmosphere. The air masses move vertically as warm air rises and grows less dense and they continue to move vertically when the air cools and sinks after growing denser. Conversely, air masses move horizontally when air from high-pressure areas moves to low-pressure areas and creates wind. There is constant high pressure over the polar regions due to the presence of colder, dense air. However, a low-pressure system sits along the equator due to the presence of warmer, less dense air. The pressure difference causes the air to flow from the poles to the equator. If this flow of air becomes stationary due to a small pressure difference, it takes on the characteristics of that region. There are four types of air masses, which are categorized by their moisture levels and temperatures. Continental polar air masses, continental tropical air masses, maritime polar air masses, and maritime tropical air masses. Continental air masses form over continents. Because they form over land, they tend to contain less moisture. These air masses spend a lot of time over a continent before global winds push them along. There are two types of continental air masses, continental polar and continental tropical. Continental polar masses form over colder continental regions, and they tend to be cold and dry. Conversely, Continental tropical air masses form over continental regions and carry warmer, drier air. A continental air mass that affects the northern United States develops over ice-covered land, such as northern Canada. Sometimes, polar masses will dip all the way to the southern United States, bringing cooler, drier weather with them. However, in the winter, polar masses bring extremely cold conditions. On the other hand, Tropical air masses that form over the southwest United States bring hot, dry weather in the summer. Maritime air masses are found over large bodies of water, like oceans. Since these air masses originate over the water, they are full of moisture. They often carry precipitation when they move into an area. The two types of maritime air masses are maritime polar and maritime tropical. Maritime polar air masses are cold and moist, while maritime tropical masses are warm and moist. In the United States, maritime polar air masses form in the northern Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. When these air masses enter an area, they bring cold, moist air. In the winter, these air masses can bring snow or rain, and in the summer, they typically bring cool, rainy, and even foggy weather. The maritime tropical air masses that affect the United States form over warmer waters, such as the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. They bring mild, cloudy weather to the eastern United States in the winter, and they bring hot, humid weather in the summer. The next time you experience a warm, fair day without clouds, or see a storm approaching your town, you will be familiar with the types of air masses that are heading your way.